Let's start this section by talking about the very basics of an arteriovenous axis, also called AV axis, used for hemodialysis. The purpose of an AV axis is to have a stable, patent, superficial venous segment where two dialysis needles can be inserted far enough apart to allow blood removal and return from and to the patient during hemodialysis. An AV axis can be either a fistula or a graft. Let's take a closer look at these. An AV fistula is where the patient's artery is connected directly with the patient's vein in an end-to-end, side-to-side, or an end-to-side anastomosis, the latter being more common and demonstrated here. What is shown is an end-to-side anastomosis between the radial artery and the cephalic vein to create a radiocephalic fistula. Following the creation of an AV fistula, the high shear stress causes both arterial and venous dilation. As the vein is exposed to the high shear stress and flow from the artery, it starts to arterialize, that is, it starts to dilate and enlarge over weeks, resulting in the formation of a mature AV fistula. So this is our newly created radiocephalic fistula. How do we know it's ready to be used? According to the KDGO guidelines, a mature AV fistula is defined as one where the vein grows and develops at least 0.6 centimeters in width, is 0.6 centimeters from the surface, has an ultrasound flow of at least 600 mils per minute by six weeks post fistula creation, and has a linear segment of at least six centimeters, ideally 10 centimeters, that will allow two needles to be placed a reasonable distance apart. This is the rule of sixes. The blood flow through the fistula of at least 600 mils per minute is important so it can sustain a standard blood pump rate of 400 mils per minute during dialysis. This radiocephalic fistula is now ready to be used for the purpose of dialysis. An arteriovenous graft or AV graft is a synthetic tube that is used to connect the patient's artery and vein for the purpose of cannulation during hemodialysis. This is often done in patients that don't have very healthy and well-sized vessels of their own. The synthetic tube is what acts as the vein in an AV graft and is used for cannulation. For the purpose of this module, we'll demonstrate key features around an arteriovenous fistula, but most of the discussed principles apply to an arteriovenous graft as well. Remember, a dialysis axis is not just about anastomosis between a vein and an artery. It's a closed circuit starting at the heart and ending at the heart.